Okay, caught on camera. Look at this video. A little leaguer caught in a dust devil. It whipped up behind the home plate during a game in Jacksonville, Florida. Out of nowhere, that seven year old got stuck in the middle of that mini twister before, as you saw, the game's umpire stepped in to pull him out. And Josh, I was asking you, do we get those in Oregon? And you said, oh, yes, yes, yes we get a lot of them, <laughs> which is crazy. I've never seen one of those. I don't think I've seen one of those. Yeah, so they won't happen typically in like urban areas. But okay. once the farmers start to cut a lot of the grasses, ah, that's when everything okay. starts to dry out. Well, I, I, that little leaguer, I'm glad he's okay. That <laughs> yeah. looked pretty nuts. Well, yes. if, if you've ever been hit by, you know, sand blowing up and hitting you, that's exactly what it feels like. But the science behind a dust devil, it all comes down to the heat of the sun. And we typically see them anywhere from August to September. But the heat, as the air starts to rise, it creates a very small low pressure system near the surface. And that's able to grab all of that dust and debris and start to bring it aloft into the air. But if it moves over just slightly cooler conditions, which I expect that dust devil did as it moved over the grassy spots, then it quickly kills that miniature low pressure system. And we're talking about this being micro micro scale meteorology. But as far as the dust devil potential goes today across the Pacific Northwest, likely on the lower end of things, thanks to our very rainy start to the spring season. But